What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here and in this video I'll be unboxing some silver that I recently picked up. Really excited about this uh, and also I do want to talk about the premiums we've been seeing recently on physical silver bullion because wow they are still way up there and this is something I definitely think needs to be addressed. So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you would like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so we're going to start off with a little unboxing here before we get into the premiums on physical silver bullion. Uh, this is a private party purchase that I recently made, uh, and I'll just tell you right out the gate. Whoa, I'm getting dangerous with the box cutter here. Um, I uh, uh, got this for under spot, so really excited about that. Uh, I did recently make a video telling all my tips and tricks on how to buy silver under spot, and I utilized those uh, to make this purchase here. And so, yeah, this is uh, junk silver. Should be about uh, forty dollars face value in here, and uh, I got it for uh, 12x face. So that's under $17 an ounce, but, uh, very nicely packaged. It looks like check out all that. This is someone's junk silver collection, which is perfect because I'm trying to buy junk silver. looks like we got a lot of Washington quarters in there. There's a nice Kennedy half dollar, really good shape. Uh, yeah, very cool. So I'm going to take this out. Uh, get it counted and then we'll come right back all right so i got it all sorted out here uh, took it all out of the box obviously we have just right around 40 dollars face value uh, so again i'm really excited to have picked all this up at such a good deal 12 times uh, face value uh, and we have a really nice assortment here we got some benjamin franklin half dollars absolutely gorgeous uh, some walking liberty half dollars very cool and some kennedy half dollars these are 90% uh, as well. 1964 is the only year of the 90% Kennedy halves. Those are favorite among stackers. Um, we do have some dimes and quarters. Here's a nice mercury dime. Looks like it's probably been cleaned, I would assume. Uh, 1940 there. And uh, we've got some Washington quarters. There's some other stuff mixed in there but uh, really nice assortment love buying the junk silver i'm definitely working on stacking junk silver this year so whenever i find a good deal i try and back up the truck uh, now i do want to talk in this video on silver premiums that is one of the things we'll be discussing but before we get to that there was two pieces of silver in this junk silver pile that kind of stood out to me they're a little bit strange so i've tested them but i think they need some further testing uh, so I will be sending these two half dollars right here to Spectacular. Quick plug for Spectacular here. As you can see, over 22,000 subscribers. I am subscribed, uh, but I need to make sure my notification bell is set here to all so I get notified for every video that Spectacular posts. He has wonderful content. Look at all of these videos. In fact, if we go to his most popular, uh, you could see well over 300,000 views on that one. So this guy definitely knows what he's talking about. If for some reason you're not already subscribed to his channel, definitely make sure that you do so. So that's his channel. I will put a link down below in the description. Make sure you all subscribe to Spectacular's channel uh, because these two half dollars will be going to him and he will be testing them in a video. So you're not gonna wanna miss that video and miss the results. They might be fake, uh, which is kind of what I'm getting at. So let's start with the barber. Now this barber half dollar just looks really strange to me. It's possible that it is an actual barber and someone just cleaned it. I mean, they did a really good job cleaning it, if that's the case. But it's obviously very shiny, over 100 years old. That's a little suspicious. Um, if this was graded, it would be probably a G4 because you can't read anything in the headband. But the edge, or the rim of the coin rather, is not that worn down, which I would expect. Uh, so the wear pattern is a little bit off. It just looks off. It looks like uh, some cheap stamp. So, you know, is this a real coin? To be determined. 
Um, now, a couple ways to test, obviously, would be to weigh it. It weighs fine. It kind of feels like silver. We could obviously do the uh, sound test as well. Pitch is a little bit high. Um, so, yeah, and the other test is the magnet test. And it's not magnetic, which is a good sign. So there's no iron in here. Um, so it could be a legitimate coin, but uh, I will be sending that to Spectacular. Now he has a Sigma Metalytics machine. I plan on getting one of those in the future to help me with testing gold and silver. They're very expensive though. Um, so I'm excited about the collab. I'm really excited to see uh, what he finds when he tests this Barber half. Now the other coin I'm sending him is the Walking Liberty. This one also looks strange to me. It looks like it had some sort of plating on it at some point, which was cleaned off, I suppose. Uh, what's the date on that? It looks like a 1945 is the date. But the stamp just looks weird to me. Uh, so it's, again, possible that someone cleaned this. But uh, let me show you the other side here. It just looks like a poor stamp. Um, it's kind of maybe scratched around this side here. So it looks off to me. It looks kind of like uh, possibly a fake coin. So I'm excited to see the test on that. And one other thing I do want to show you is check this out. It's not really magnetic in the middle, a little bit more. But when you get to the edge, it's magnetic on the edge. So that's a huge reg flag. Um, that's one of the ways we test for fake silver to see if it's magnetic. So there probably is some iron in here. And so I would I would bet that this is probably fake. Um, and so, you know, I paid $6 for it. Uh, I know the guy, and uh, once we get it tested, if it comes out to be fake, then I know he'll send me my money back. So I'm not too worried about that aspect of it. But yeah, it's really interesting that it is magnetic. So it's possible that the plating on it uh, somehow is causing it to be magnetic or something like that, but I'm not really sure. So anyway, those coins will be going to Spectacular, so make sure again to subscribe to his channel. Awesome channel, lots of great content. Uh, if you don't watch his videos, you definitely should. I really enjoy them. So, uh, okay, now let's talk silver premiums, which is what this whole video was supposed to be about. And I kind of went on this tangent with these possible fake pieces of silver there. Uh, premiums on physical silver bullion. Now, I've been buying silver for about two and a half years now, and I've never seen premiums as high as they are today. So I went to my local coin shop, and the premiums on generic silver rounds were $3. How insane is that? A $3 premium on generic silver rounds. And their premiums on Eagles, $7 premium. Uh, actually, just under seven dollars. They were about six fifty, six seventy, something like that. Uh, but still, insanely high premiums. And I know if you want to buy generic silver rounds or American silver eagles online from an online bullion, bullion dealer, you're actually going to be paying probably more than that. Honestly, premiums are insane. They're super high. I'm not used to premiums like that. I mean, I know if there's some older stackers, they probably saw high premiums back in 2008, 2009. But uh, yeah, it, it's kind of mind boggling how much they're charging for bullion because up until now, I've been used to paying like a dollar over spot max for generics. So $3 over spot, that's a massive increase for generic silver rounds uh, for that premium there. And then American Silver Eagles, also a massive increase. I've been used to paying like 250 over spot um, and so when you look at like 750 over spot, again, a massive increase. So I think honestly, the reason that premiums are so high on physical bullion is just straight up demand. There's a lot of demand right now for silver uh, and people are willing to pay those premiums. And so they're able to keep charging them. So I think that uh, it's going to be probably a while before we see premiums come down. Honestly, I think we will need to see the price of silver uh, go up significantly before we see the premiums come down. So I think until we see $20 silver or possibly even higher, we're going to have these outrageous premiums. Um, and there's basically nothing you can do about it. You can just pay them uh, or you can refuse to pay them and not buy anything, right? Uh, I did make a video on how to buy gold and silver. 
under spot, which is exactly what I did to buy this silver here. If you missed that video, I'll put a link up in the corner as well as a link in the description. Definitely check out that video so you can learn for yourself all of my tips and tricks on how I buy cheap silver. Um, and pr pretty much the thing that I harp on the most in that video is you're going to have to buy private party. None of the under spot deals can be found online. Now, if you find any websites online that are selling all of their silver or gold under spot, especially if it's way under spot, then it's most likely fake. I actually did get an email from someone uh, just, what was it, yesterday, uh, and it was the one ounce silver bars from wish.com. They're like $2 a bar or something that and they're like, is this real? I'm like, no, dude, that's so fake. That's straight from China. <laughs> so, uh, so buyer beware for sure. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of good tips in that video. I highly recommend it. And also stay tuned for the video from Spectacular, the follow-up video from this one in which he tests these two half dollars. So we will anxiously await his video and see how these come back. I'm predicting this one will be fake and this one will be real. Um, so that's my prediction, but they could both be fake. They could both be real. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, anyway, I want to say massive thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons out.